Ladies and gentlemen, one more announcement before we begin the toasts. May I have quiet throughout the room at this time. And please welcome up groomsman Julian Kang. Hello, y'all. I'm Julian. Uh, so first of all, I want to give credit to my little critters over there, Oliver and Amelia, because you know what? Five and three-year-old kids, they ask really tough questions like, what's a bachelor party? Or why does, why does daddy have to go, to go with Uncle Kevin to a hotel for a couple of days? You know? But I think the hardest question so far was from my three-year-old daughter who asked, not who, but what? is Uncle Kevin. All right. it's, it's, as we all know, it's really hard to explain Kevin in G-rated terms. Right. But here it is. Kids, Uncle Kevin is a Pokemon. All right. You see, I've known Uncle Kevin here for more than 16 years now. And I've been truly fortunate to watch him evolve and level up, so to speak. I first met Kevin my freshman year at college, I was just, just waiting for a table at ping pong club to play with someone. Bald Asian kid with red headband, crinkly white shirt, or Jordan sweatpants, flip flops with sandal, or with socks on. Walked up to me, he goes, yo, <laughs> you wanna play some ping pong dog? <laughs> I knew from that first impression that I got something real special on my hands. So initially, when I met Kevin second form, he could only speak to me by interjections, like, doo -doo 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 -doo. yo, dog. This is also pre-Christian, so he wasn't saying b -b -b babe. <laughs> but through the magic of college, he gained enough experience points to start speaking in full sentences like, yo, don't worry about it, dog. But soon afterwards, he evolved into his most dangerous form. I call this form Poker Kevin, because he inspired a generation of quiet Asian dudes into online poker stardom and subsequent academic ruin. But it kind of begs the question though, how does a man who used to only speak in interjections gain such a cult following? Uh, we all know this, but the answer is, Kevin, you're a charming man, man. And just like Vin Diesel, he's a man of many talents and abilities. You know, for, but for some reason, he likes to hide them too, though. You know, like his piano playing, violin. You know. Also, Kevin's amazing at math, by the way. I hope you're very proud of him for that. He karaoke's, he does musical improv now. But even after all these evolutions, I think the biggest thing for me, and we all know this too, is that Kevin you're a very exceedingly genuine friend, a very loyal friend. These qualities make him so infectious that makes me want to just strap myself in next to him on his next adventure, even if I don't know what time my flight's leaving next. <laughs> so three weeks ago, I got, to, uh, I got to witness Kevin's bachelor party and his current form, Dr. Kevin part-time dentist, full-time party and trip planner and hype man. Yeah. Kevin, I know we haven't gotten to hang out much lately, but when I got to hang out with you, it's like all that time vanished. And it was, it was just like when uh, you, Dong, Lily, and I are stuck in your car just trying to find tennis courts, or you and Dong squishing me on Dong's bed. They're all good times, man. I have one last confession to make, though and it's that I used to laugh at you all the time when you used to justify every crazy trip that we've been on by saying, yo, we're never gonna do this ever again, man. <laughs> but it's true. You're absolutely right. And uh, I think that it's only become more obvious to me as the years go by. And it's hard to convey just how precious and how meaningful these moments are to me but I think the wise words of Ash Ketchum from Pokemon the Anime Series will do. Because you see, sometimes friends have to go away for a while. 
but a part of them will always stay behind with you. Kevin, we've been through so many highs and lows together, and I just want you to know that I am the person I am today because because a part of you is with me all the time. I love you, my strong kielbasa. I wish you only the best as you begin this new journey with your new trainer. And I know that just as you've always been there for me through all my lows and highs, you'll be there for Kristen. I love you, buddy.